I am Dr. Surekha Tiwari. I am a practicing homeopath and a psychological counselor. I am in Bangalore since the last 20 years. I have two clinics, one in ACS layout and the other is in HSR layout. The virus sickness, uh, if you were to trace the entire spectrum of virus sickness, then on one end is coryza, running of nose, flu, a little bit of cough, irritation in the throat. The symptoms keep on increasing and on the last end is pneumonia. So you can't say that you can't have pneumonia in virus, but it is also wrong to say that each time that you have a virus, you'll have pneumonia. For your viral infection to reach pneumonia, there are three very, very important circumstances. One, your immunity is extremely compromised. You've not been able to stall the flow of virus through your body. The second thing, you have not taken enough preventions after noticing the first symptom of the disease. I have mentioned before also that a virus is an inanimate organism. It requires an organic cell to multiply. If the organic cell is protected or is fortified enough, it will not allow the multiplication of virus and this disease can be stalled in a very early stage. For a virus to stay, come to pneumonia stage, it is an ignored case. And the third thing should be that the virulency of the virus has been so much, you've gone to an area which was highly infected and you found many people with this virus, in which case there will be a repeated onslaught of the virus and hence the body will not be able to protect it. If these three conditions are looked after, then pneumonia will not be in the repertory of virus.